The respondents in Benin, while speaking on the screening process of the ministerial nominees, called on the Senate to refrain from any unconstitutional acts in carrying out their obligation. The respondents, who said much of the screening has already been done by the state executives and the Department of State Security Service, advised the lawmakers to put on hold nominees with criminal records until such allegations are thoroughly investigated before they could be confirmed. For a lot of people, you are, a lot of petitions are already flowing all around the Senate. So they will look at them and investigate them and assess them. But what they see, what they investigate, and then they come out with a, a white paper on them. As I say, well, they are fit and proper persons to be ministers. They are not fit, then they go home. Yes, that's what we want. Because many of them have been ex this, ex that, ex this, ex that. So they still have to answer so many questions at the Senate. But should it be on the ground that uh, there are question marks on alleged fraudulent activities? The senators should leave a board board and consider Nigeria first, other than political party consideration, and do what is needful by ensuring that those such persons don't scare the hurdle of the Senate to becoming ministers. Such persons will be referred back to the to the law or to the judicial system to go and clear their names. And until they're able to do that, they should keep on waiting. Others advise that lawmakers should exhaustively examine the remarks of the ministerial nominees in order to know if they can be accountable to all Nigerians, irrespective of their political parties. They should look at their character. They should look at their background, where they are coming from. They should not go and impose anybody on Nigerians because we are expecting a lot from them. If anybody must become a minister, it's a person that will have the masses at heart. They should check them very well before they appoint them as a minister. The seat is to confirm or ratify the nominees sent to them. So in the course of doing that, they should look at the age, look at the pedigree of the uh, nominee before uh, such a uh, confirmation. The ministerial nominees are Nigerians drawn from across the states and different professions, and their screening is built to take three days. Rosalind Evorami reporting.